Hey guys, welcome back. I have a video for you today that's not exactly Camino related, but it is in some ways. I'm gonna be talking about different travel pillows and my favorite travel pillows. So I know a lot of you watching live in the States, so you're traveling a fairly long way to start your Camino, including probably an overnight flight. And so maybe you're wondering, what the best travel pillow is and is it a good idea to bring one can you use it on the camino so i'll kind of weave these concepts together um but i recently took a trip to uh, france for work and i was flying in premium economy so a little bit more room but still that kind of upright sleeping position next to the window if you're like me and so i was really looking to invest some money into um upping my travel pillow game if you will so i purchased one, two, i got six different pillows from amazon wanted to just um kind of try them out see how the fit was now obviously when you're thinking about travel pillows you got to think about where you like to sit on a plane and kind of what happens to you as you're falling asleep i know when i sleep on a plane um I like to be against the window, my neck tends to fall down. And also, I don't, I've never heard of this happening to other people, but if I leave my arms on the armrest, um, they fall asleep. It only happens if they're on the armrest. I'm not sure why, but there were certain pillow options that I think there was one that kind of came around your whole body that you had to hug, but rest your arms on the armrest. So I knew that wasn't an option for me. So you're gonna wanna kind of think about how you like to sleep on a plane um, and take these thoughts with a grain of salt. But um, so I guess on a Camino related note, I'll start off by saying I did not purchase this pillow now, but if you are going to want a pillow for plane travel to then use on the Camino, I would probably recommend an inflatable pillow and maybe one that's just, you know, the shape of a normal pillow. I don't feel like this provides a lot of structure. It doesn't come down far enough. It's really light. So even though, you know, it does fold into nothing and weigh nothing. I did take this on my Camino um, and I never used it once. So, I mean, it weighs nothing, so it wasn't a big deal, but I would definitely not take it again. Um, but, and you also don't need pillows on the Camino. I didn't stay anywhere that didn't provide a pillow in a clean pillowcase. Um, and most sleeping sacks and sleeping bags actually have a par portion of them that comes around the pillow for extra protection. So, um, you don't need a pillow for the Camino. If you want to get one, I'd probably recommend one that does um, inflate and then has a better shape than this one. So try a few out. This is Swiss gear, but again, I would not bring that on my next Camino. So the first pillow I tried is one of the ones that's the most well-known and has a ton of reviews. This is the Cabo C-A-B-E-A-U Evolution S3 Travel Pillow. You'll see this sold a lot at the shops in the airport i got this for 40 dollars on amazon um one of the things so it's really soft memory foam material um that can zip off you can you can wash it um but one of the things that sets this one apart is you can actually strap it to your headrest if it's one that has space to do so um so the thought is then you know you can tighten it here it stays in place and you sleep my problem, as I've said, is that my neck tends to go down. So when I, I never used this on a plane, but when I tried it out, I realized it was not the proper fit for me. So um, I will not be using this one. Next, I tried the, so <laughs> this is just a bunch of letters. This is the MZY SKJ travel pillow. It kind of takes the neck brace um style and so it is it's soft and it's plush and you you bring it around your neck and then you clip it in here uh and tighten it but again it doesn't actually get like close enough for i think for my neck to not feel strained um so i also decided against keeping and using that pillow and that one was 22.50 on amazon Third pillow I tried was the Fix Nazar travel pillow. Lots of reviews, cheaper price point, $20. Um, kind of a similar shape to the, the Cabo one I showed you before, half the price. Um, you know, again, I just didn't feel like that it was providing pressure where I needed it to so that my head would not slip on a plane. So 
that one did not work either. Um, the next one I was really excited about, and I do think it's actually, you know, could work for a lot of people, is the most expensive one. This is the Turtle Pillow Plus, spelled T-R-T-L. Um, looks like this. It comes with a nice travel pouch. Um, so this one also takes on the neck brace um, look. But what's so unique about it is that this, in the Plus version, it has these adjustable uh, levers, if you will, wheels that actually change the height. So what you wanna do is you wanna get that next to whichever side you wanna to lean toward, really get it in, in under your chin pretty well, wrap this around, and if you need to adjust the height, you just, you press and turn. So basically you find where your neck's gonna be stable and not drop down, and you sleep like this. So a couple of things, one, I do look a little silly, but I do feel very supported. Um, so this was definitely one that was higher on my list as I was trying out the pillows. Um, but the price point was $60, so it was a little bit more expensive. And I don't know about you guys, but when I have a pillow, I want it to feel plush like a pillow. That's kind of one of the things I like about pillows. And this one, I think it has good function, but doesn't really have the comfort factor. Um, so again, that one did not make the final cut. So the two that actually did, I decided to keep two and I brought both of them. Um, and so one is, so this is a really unique pillow. It looks kind of like a big infinity scarf. It's actually called the Hoosie Infinity Pillow, H-U-Z-I. And basically I love it because you can twist it in any shape you want. You can kind of twist it in a ball and fold things in places and, there are good videos on YouTube that I'll show you how to do it and kind of put it up against the, the window and it provides, you know, bring a little under your chin. It provides a really fat cushion to get up into that windowsill and, you know, not let your head slip. Or one thing I like to do is bring it around your neck, then kind of twist it around a few times. And then it gives a place for your arms to rest. Cause as I mentioned before, you know, I always have a problem with where to put my arms. So this keeps my head stable and also gives me a nice rest for my arms. You can put it behind your back, next to the side where the arm of the seat wants to dig in. Um, I just like the versatility of this. Now the problem obviously is the size. What The way it came delivered was actually wrapped up in a circle and there's like, um, I guess like a cloth strip that allows you to kind of keep it in this shape. So, I mean, it's not huge. Um, but it doesn't have any straps or anything that you can attach it to a backpack. So I kind of just had to put it in a plastic bag and carried it that way. Um, so transportability is an issue, but in terms of comfort, I mean, it's super soft. I think the cover is part bamboo. Um, the whole thing is washable. So yes, I really like the Hoosie Infinity Pillow. This was $40 on Amazon. They have different colors and there's a $2 coupon right now, actually. And then the last one, the one that I was most intrigued by, given that I do tend to have my neck drop when I sleep, was the, the J Pillow. Uh, I know this has won a bunch of awards. This was $30 on Amazon. Um, with So basically it looks like this, a little silly, but the thought is that you, and they, in case you're lost, they have a nice ear image there. So you know you put this, this is really the best for window sleepers. You put this here, this under your chin to support. And I mean, it's so plush, it's so thick. It is really, really that pillow feel that I was going for. So what I did actually was I combined the two. I kind of put this one first around my neck and got my arms in position and then brought this one up next to the window. And I probably slept a good four hours, which for me on an, on an overnight flight is a lot. And I was really comfortable. I'd say the one downfall of the two is just the transportability. Um, this one does have a snap, so you can attach it to a backpack. It is a little bulky, but at least it's attachable. You have the carrying case. So um, again, my two recommendations for the best travel pillows, but again, know your style, are the J pillow and the Hoosie Infinity Pillow. I hope that helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching.